good morning good morning everyone now this is going to be a really interesting vlog and i'm actually really excited to share this with you it is going to take a few weeks to make um as i want to like try and keep the whole process in this one video um from start to finish and i'm basically helping someone with their dissertation now this means that it sounds really really boring right um but i promise it's really interesting i'm actually going to be a, partic a participant in in their in their sports I want to say sports science study as we all know running is not my strongest point however during this study i will be getting my vo2 max tested um i'll be running in heat like i said in an environmental chamber yeah they're just basically going to record information that they require but i also thought it was really interesting for me because as a hybrid hybrid athlete high rocks crossfit whatever it's really interesting to know your vo2 max because it helps you to set your zones and things like that so that is really really interesting for me um now just a warning in this video i will be giving blood samples i won't actually include any any images of needles or anything like that so don't worry about that i'm actually going to jump in the car now because otherwise i'm going to be late I feel like I always start my videos like being late. When I'm in the car, I will run you through what I'm actually going to be doing in this first visit today. So I'll see you there. Okay, so as I said, um, I'm just going to run you through what I'm actually going to be doing in this visit. So there's three visits in total. Today will be the shortest one of the three, I believe. I'm basically going to start off just by doing the consent, the consent forms. Um, the I think it's like a health questionnaire just to check that you're healthy and up to doing the um, the study and then after that it will just be a running test with a mouthpiece on um basically doing i think it said four to eight different stages of um speed starting at eight kilometers per hour and then slowly moving up um and then after that is the volatile ex exhaustion um part of it so that's where i'll basically be running i think it's i think i'll be running at an incline obviously i'll, I'll confirm all of this when i get there because i'm not entirely sure what i'm actually doing i think it's going to be um running at a steadily increasing incline and then when i reach volatile exhaustion that's when we'll stop so i'll show you the process I have asked and they did say that I could film the process um, or as much of it as I can. So yeah, I'll, 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 I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but yeah, we're going in for the first visit. Update. I really struggled to park so now I'm sort of rushing. I've got my tool sport electrolytes in hand as well because running in the heat and running till volatile. Volatile? I don't know if that's the right word and I keep saying it. Well, running to exhaustion. So stay hydrated. Yep, perfect. That's what we're going to start then. We're going to start there. Um, and then we're going to increase it. You need a half an hour or case 
now, depending on how you feel. Oh, okay, it's all right. Cool. Okay, just a little bit of pressure with things with the line. <laughs> Um, you'll run continuously for three and a half minutes. Don't worry if you forget the time, we'll tell you the time. Yeah. We're going to ask you some questions at one point. So we'll ask you about your rates and perceived exertion, that 6 to 20 scale, and yeah. how you're finding it. Yeah. When it gets to the end of that time, we're going to get to the top of that treadmill, yeah. eat some of your lactate sample, you're going to watch others just go with that, yeah. and then once you finish with that, we'll get you running again at a slightly higher pace. I mean, that's all right. right. Yeah. Get you started.
and then it just got really hard really quickly. So, um, yeah, I'll sort of run you through um, when we're back in the car or when I'm back at home and showered. <laughs> my shoes have actually changed colour. That's how sweaty I am right now. Okay, guys, so we have got my VO2 Max results now. And I must say, I'm really rather chuffed with them, considering I'd not put my running shoes on since the half marathon that I did a couple of months prior. I can say I'm really rather pleased. Um, so my actual VO2 max is 45.4, which as I'm sure it does to you, doesn't actually mean anything to me. So I've got chat, chat GPT to tell me. Um, and I'm in the category of excellent for females, age 20 to 29, which, hey, what can I say? Um, but it just means I've got a strong endurance capacity and a high work output with quick recovery. So what is actually more interesting to me with that, not necessarily the VO2 max number itself, but is more my zones. So when you're doing um, threshold training, long run training, things like that, when people say like, oh, you're gonna go on an easy run, what that really means is you want to have your heart rate between a certain like um, upper and lower limit. So for me, my zones, it goes one, two, three, four, five. And then zone one for me is about 132 to 145. And then my zone five is 185 to 199. Well, I'm one of those people that actually cannot do a run 
without my heart rate getting above like 130. It just isn't possible. And I'm sure, I'm sure it would be possible if I trained running a lot more, but I don't. Um, so for me, I'm happy. Like, and if I can get into the habit of using those zones when I do eventually go for more runs, then hopefully we can see a lot more data-based progress, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with that. And being with the team and doing that whole experience was honestly such good fun for me. Um, and would 100% do it again. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little something different. Um, and like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll catch you in the next video.